Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my teaching, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and even press the bell button to get the regular updates. In this video, I want to discuss about the basics of ISO OSI model. Even it can be called as OSI model. Okay, so I will discuss what are the layers are there in the OSI model and the, how the communication will be happen in the OSI model between the layers. And then in the next video, I will discuss about the functionalities of each layer. Okay, so as I said earlier, it is called as ISO OSI model. Okay, what is this ISO OSI model? ISO defines that it is an international standard organization and OSI is open system interconnection model. So in people, some people will call it as a OSI model also. Now what are the layers are there? As, you, as I said earlier, this OSI model is a collection of layers. What are the layers? People will say that it consists of seven layers. Okay, so what are the seven layers we will discuss? We have an application layer. I'm coming from the top to bottom. Top to bottom means I'm talking from the center point of view. Application layer, presentation layer, we have session layer. We have transport layer, and we have network layer. I hope you are following it. Okay, and we have data link layer. Okay, we have data link layer, and we have physical layer. Okay, now the important thing is that all the layers should be arranged in a sequence from the sender point of view because sender will send a message. First it will go to the application layer, then it will come to the presentation layer and from presentation layer it will come to the session layer. From session layer we will have the transport layer, from transport layer the data will come to the network layer, from the network layer the data will come to the data link layer, then it will come to the physical layer. Then using the physical medium, the data will be transferred to the receiver. Uh, in the receiver side, again we will have the physical layer and then we have a data link layer. Let me write it. Okay. And then we have a network layer and we have a transport layer. And then we have session layer again. We have a presentation layer. And then we have application layer. So totally we have seven layers at each node. Okay. At, at the source we have seven layers. And at the destination also we have seven layers. Okay. So that's why OSI layer model is called as it consists of seven layers. Now you can ask me sir how to remember this one because you are telling that the sequence is very important I should not interchange the layers am I right then how to remember it I will tell a shortcut A P S T N D P those who know Telugu or those who know means the combined Andhra Pradesh okay previously we have a combined Andhra Pradesh now it was separated to Andhra and Telangana, those things I will not talk. We have a combined Andhra and then we have a Tamil Nadu. If you see the Indian map, Tamil Nadu will be there, the down and then Andhra Pradesh will be there. So I hope I will remember this concept or my teacher when I am doing the B.Tech, she explained me the shortcut. So this way I have remembered. You can follow your own strategy. But what is the strategy I have remembered? AP Andhra Pradesh. Yes means state, Andhra Pradesh state. 
టిఎన్డి తమిళనాడు పైన పి మీన్స్ పైన ఐ హోప్ యూ నో ద తెలుగు ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ నో తెలుగు యూ విల్ నాట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద వే ఐ వి ఐ హ్యావ్ రిమెంబర్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ స్టేట్ తమిళనాడు పైన ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సెంటర్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ వ్యూ ఇఫ్ యూ రైట్ దమ్ ఇన్ ద రివర్స్ ఇన్ ద రిసివర్స్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ వ్యూ యూ విల్ గెట్ ఇట్ ఓకే నావ్ ద కమ్యూనికేషన్ విల్ బీ హ్యాపెన్ ఫ్రమ్ అప్లికేషన్ లేయర్ టు సెషన్ లేయర్ అండ్ ఫ్రమ్ సెషన్ లేయర్ వీ విల్ హ్యావ్ మీన్స్ ప్రెజెంటేషన్ లేయర్ టు సెషన్ లేయర్ and like this it will happen okay and again at the receiver from physical layer to data link layer from data link layer to network layer from network layer to transport layer from transport layer to session layer like this the communication will happen okay between the sender this is at the sender point of view and this is at the receiver point of view okay is it clear are you able to understand now let me discuss how this communication will happen and what will happen suppose let's take that application layer has created some message m okay when the message comes to the physical layer physical layer let's take that it has had a header called h1 to this message what this header and what it will consist of all these things i will discuss in the coming videos okay application layer has created a some message called m or it can be a data also okay this data the application layer from the sender side want to transfer the data to the receiver okay let's take that you are using a some application like a whatsapp using the whatsapp you want to transfer the data to the another person who is having the whatsapp so that is what how it will happen so you are say, creating a message that when it comes to the presentation layer it will add its header what is that header will consist of we will discuss later and then the message and that message will come to the session layer the session layer what it will do is that it will add its own address or its own header h2 to the previous content h1 and m because this information has been transferred from presentation layer to session layer what it got h1 and m to that information it is adding its own header okay i hope you are following it then this message comes to the transport layer as h2 h1 m okay then it will add its own header h3 are you able to follow it or not so you have h2 h1 messages okay now this information if it goes to the network layer like h3 h2 h1 and you have the message m that information when it comes to the network layer when it is sending to the data link layer it will add its own header okay and it will send to the data link layer then data link layer will receive h4 h3 header h2 header h1 header and message and it when it is sending to the physical layer it will add its own header okay it is adding its own information let's take that okay and when this message is coming to the physical layer like you have h5 h4 h3 h2 h1 and m and when it is sending to the in the transmission it will add its header let's take that it is adding its own information or let's take that it is sending in terms of bits physical layer will send the data in the bits let's take that it is adding its information okay and the people will if people will say and reality is that it physical layer will not add its header let's take that physical layer is not adding the header okay and it is sending the data into the medium because we have a link okay link is nothing but a medium to transfer the data from the sender to the receiver am i right using this medium in terms of bits this message has been reached to the destination physical layer how it is reaching h5 h4 h3 h2 h1 and m okay when it is transferring the data to the physical data link layer from physical layer to data link layer it will transfer the data okay you will get h5 i hope it will be visible for you okay h5 h4 
ಹೆಚ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹೆಚ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಹೆಚ್ ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೆಡರ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಡೇ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಡಾಟಾ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಡೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಹೆಡರ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆವರ್ ದ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ will be received by the data link layer in the receiver it will remove its header h5 header and then it will send to the network layer consists of the information h4 h3 h2 h1 and then you have the actual message then from the network layer when it is sending to the transport layer it will remove this h4 header and it will send it as h3 h2 h1 and actual message okay then session layer what it will do means when the session layer will receive it from the transport layer transport layer will remove the h3 header and it will send to the session layer h2 h1 and actual message then before transferring the data to the presentation layer session layer will remove its header h2 and it will send it the information as h1 and message then presentation layer will remove this header h1 will send the actual message to the application layer in the destination or at the receiver okay so i hope you have understood what are the layers and how the actual communication will happen between these layers in the next video i will discuss about the functionalities of each layer so that you will understand the OSA model in detail. What is meant by functionality? What the each layer will do? Let's take the data link layer. It will do the flow control, error control, access control. Even it has the physical address. All these things I will discuss in detail in the next video. I hope you have understood the concept. If you really have any doubts, please feel to ask me the doubts in the comment session. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. If you really like the video please press the like button share the videos with your friends and even press the bell button to get the regular updates thank you for watching my video have a nice day